this is how to fit flat diapers. There are lots and lots of different folds for uh, flat diapers. I'm going to go through two that are reasonably popular and relatively easy if you're a beginner. So the first one's called the Joe Fold, which is great for smaller babies. And what you do is you make your square that you have smaller by folding this in to another square. Now it looks a bit like a letter. Um, whatchamacallit? Can't think of the word. Anyway, now you have a smaller square. Roughly. And fold it into three. It's a little bit trial and error because you'll have to work out what size of square you need. And then you just open up this. And that will be the back of your diaper. You can also fold this down to make the diaper a bit shorter. Then you take your baby. Come on there. This should be just above the um, bum cheeks and should come down just below the belly button. And then you fold this over and you bring these wings over. So you want to pull it up and over and there is another way to give you a good seal on the legs here which you can try. It's called the good key method and you can fold this like that. So just make it a bit shorter and you fold it towards the skin and then over. So like this. Just gives you a slightly better leg seal. So then what I generally do is I hold that like this. I take my snappy, I hook it in on this side, I take it across to this side, relatively taut, and then pull it down so it makes a Y shape. This isn't too, this will be, um, you know, tucked in with the wrap, but you can tuck it like this as well. Then check the legs. So you want to just give that a good roll if you can. But generally, just to keep it all in there. This model has very skinny legs, so not that easy to achieve. And you take your wrap. And you fit that through there, nice and flat on top, up and over. And up and over, that's it. Push this up if it gives you a better seal. Make sure none of the absorbent part is poking out, which is hard with these skinny legs. And you'll find this with newborns. It's a little bit harder to achieve. That's where a newborn wrap is useful. This one's a one size fits most. So a newborn wrap would be much smaller on this. Or a double gusseted one. They create a smaller circle. So they're much easier for skinny legs. And nothing is poking out. No absorbent material. So we're good to go with this one. That's how the um, flat diaper is put on to your baby. We'll do a different fold now. Let's take this off. Back to square one. This is probably best for bigger babies. So you take your square flat diaper fold it in half and then you take this corner here and you want to bring it over there and in order to do that you just need to move some of these things over let's try that again Okay, let's do that again, so you can see. So this needs to go over there, and you want to create a triangle 
And then, so then this folds this way. And here you have a triangle. And you still have fabric here. So then you turn this over. Okay. So your triangle is underneath here. And then this you fold into a pad. Make this back into your triangle. And then you have your absorbency here because you can fold these over. You have more absorbency here and these are your wings. You can add more absorbency here with inserts, another P-fold or another flat. And you can make this shorter so if you find, okay, this is too long. You can just make this shorter by folding it like this. So let's do that. Okay, and then bring that over. And then you want to bring this over. And this is this good key method. Keep that close to the skin and then fold that over. Tuck it in somewhere. And here, keep this end close to the skin and then take the whole thing over. You might even, if you have long wings like this, you might even be able to tuck them in. To each other if you run out of snappies or you can't find them and then you can either fold this over like this this gives you a little bit more absorbency in the front or you can just leave them going round they'll be contained by the wrap anyway so hold that together take your snappy pull it across and down and that's that flat diaper fold Take your wrap, make sure it covers the flat diaper on the back, through the legs, flat across, and pull up and over. Up and over. Tuck this up and make sure none of the absorbent part is visible or touches anything. You want to have that contained by the wrap, otherwise this will get wet and then any clothes that baby is wearing are going to get wet too. So make sure you can still fit two fingers and there's nothing poking out at the back. All nicely contained. And that's how you fold a flat diaper.